My name is Daniel God Hits, and this is my train of thought. I think I've made 16 music videos in the last 12 months. So like, I could have saved money, but I spent it on 16 music videos, you know, which is pretty ridiculous. Like, I don't know anybody who's made 16 music videos in, in a year. So probably released like seven or eight or nine full projects already. And like, still people think that I just started a year. When people see my music videos now, I get it. I'm a white boy wearing grills and like, okay, we can fuck out of here. But like the people who really know me, they're like, damn, this kid was growing up in fucking nowhere in Ireland, making beats, posting like, I used to post like three new beats a day, every day for like years. And just, they see me the whole way. And uh, you know, they don't see that to get that music video done, I had to like go $200 negative balance in my bank account to like fly to LA, pay the guy to make the video. Um, you know, I'm like getting an Uber to like the actual video shoot, like checking my Chase account. Like, do I even have enough to get this Uber? Like, is it gonna get declined? Oh shit, okay. Like, just like, you know, just everything is just getting invested into my music. I would make it just because I love making it. So that's kind of why I'm not too pressured about it. When I found freestyle, I was like, wow, this is really cool and I'm actually really good at it. I have a natural kind of gift for it. So I could actually be really good at this. So let me focus all my energy on this. I love it. I don't need to um, have 11 other people or 10 other people, whatever, to like play. I can play anytime, any place, as long as I have a, you know, a couple yards of space and a ball. That's all I need. So I like the kind of accessibility and freedom of it where you can just grab your backpack, put a ball in it, go anywhere you want and you'll find somewhere to just train and practice and I like the kind of social aspect of the community of it where like you, you learn a new trick or you even invent a new trick you can post it on on the forums and stuff back then before Instagram and other people would see it and like give you feedback all over the world and stuff so I really like that aspect of it and uh, yeah I just got hooked on it. Yeah. about a year and a half ago I decided to you know like you know I'm a US citizen I was born in America why don't I just move to America? That's, you know, it's a, a lot of people's dream. And I always loved New York. I always, I always knew I would live in New York one day. I don't know why, it's just like a city that appealed to me a lot. And uh, yeah, it was just like one day I was like, you know what, let me just move to New York. So I just got all my shit and just moved. The decision to move to New York is from seeing so much, uh, you know, amazing, talent coming out of New York and hip hop and in, in everything, all every movie you see in New York, they make it look so epic. It's always like this amazing city, so much going on. And I was just really curious to like come live here and just see what it was like. But I knew that, you know, in New York, if you have a goal, there's nothing really that you can't achieve if you work hard here, I feel like. And I, I like being around other uh, motivated people and people who are going to push me to go harder too. And in terms of how does it help my freestyle career? I don't know about freestyle career, but just career in general. When you live in New York, people look at you different already. You know, as soon as you're like, yeah, I live in New York, people are like, damn. I would describe myself as a freestyle soccer player and a music artist, um, but you know, outside of all that, I'm just somebody who loves uh, learning new stuff and just kind of having fun and doing what I want to do. Be yourself. Be as entertaining as possible and do whatever you want. And if people don't like it, don't worry for even a split second about it.